Guys, welcome back it's to my channel, thing. Fusion Food. Beautiful. Big up on the DM self. Cooking is a vibe. Guys, welcome back to my channel, Fusion Food. In this episode, as you know, we're in this December Monday, you know, it's a festive season, you know, right? So today, I don't know, I'm going to show you how I make my Jamaican sorrel drink. You understand? I you know it's a Fusion Food. Like, subscribe, and share them on. There's all the twists over here. So anyway, I have two pounds of sorrel here. Fresh sorrel, you know. And I have, I'll be using this amount of ginger for two pounds of sorrel, right? So I love my ginger in the sorrel. I love the flavor that ginger brings out of my sorrel. So we're going to wash up them ginger here. We're going to remove the sorrel from the bag. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do. Sorry, look at this. Absolutely beautiful and fresh. Look at that. Really hard man, sorry. You know them way really? there. Really hard man, sorry. So you want to seed in them? These are the sorrel seed. You just want to just take them out from out the pot, alright? So anyway, guys, you have to wash the sorry. I give them a little wash off. Set them aside and we'll clean up the spices after, you know? And so, get them in a container and just run some water over them. You now you wash them out. Alright? You just want to wash them out. Wash out with any impurities. You can see, you can see all these, you know, those little impurities coming out. Just let the, the water run through them, you know? So, we're throw off the water now. You know, and all those little things you can. Yeah, just, you just want to wash them out your sorrel, you know? So, we wash the sorrel. We just set the sorrel aside a little bit. We will now get into cleaning up our spices. You know, when I say spices, I mean like my ginger. So, we're going to wash the ginger. Alright? So, as you can see, just finish clear up the ginger, you know, this is good, you know, just to ensure you wash off all the dirt off your ginger, you don't need to scrape away the skin from the ginger, because, you know, once you wash the dirt off the ginger, this is good enough, these gingers are clean and ready, alright, so, I just want to show you how I prepare my ginger, you know, I don't cut, cut up the ginger, what I do, I just get the back of the knife and you just place your ginger on a flat surface and you just apply it. And guys, this way you get more from your ginger, you get more of the flavor. You know, when you cut your ginger like this, you know, it's much harder for the water to get you this because it's, it's very tough. But when you crush the ginger, you know, you just crush the ginger like this. Apply a little pressure. Like that. You get more flavor from your ginger. Alright? So this is how I'm going to prepare my ginger. Just prepare my ginger. And now we're going to add it to some boiling water. My boiling water here. You know, it's a big pot. So now I'm just going to add my ginger in here. You just want the heat to extract all the flavor from the ginger, that spicy flavor. Just want the heat to extract it. Now, I'm going to add a few cinnamon sticks to this boiling water as well. Alright? I'm going to be adding two cinnamon sticks. And then I have some pimento berries here. I'll be adding a few. Alright. Just gives it a nice flavor. Alright, so I have my pimento berries here. I'm just gonna drop it in there. And we're gonna let this we're gonna let this boil or steep for about 15 minutes. 
before we add in our sorrel mix to this all right guys stay tuned remember to like subscribe and share fusion food sorrel drink okay guys so it has been about 15 minutes um sorry about the noise in the background they are cutting the lawn so yeah sorry about the noise all right all right so anyway um it has been 15 minutes since my cinnamon stick and my pimento and ginger have been boiling now now we're gonna just start adding in some sorrel to this all right now we know it's a fusion food i'm gonna add a cork full of vanilla to my sorrel drink all right just a cork full guys all right that's good my sorrel drink there you know just to add some more flavor to this warm water i'm gonna add a little bit more water in here and then you just want to look at that beautiful color really look at that look at that color wow we're gonna let this steep for about 20 minutes i'm just gonna add my warm water in here look at that beautiful texture that flavor that is coming up oh yes yes sir sorry drink christmas 2020 guys remember to like subscribe if you're new to the channel subscribe guys. Yeah, you can see my cinnamon stick here. You know? And you're gonna just let this let, let let the magic just happen for 20 or 15 to 20 minutes from now. You know, this all the flavors will be infused, all the color from the sorrel, all that will be done in about 15 to 20 minutes. I can turn this off, but for now, we're gonna just let nature take its score so just a quick update guys i added another cup of vanilla to this oh yes wow so guys my sorrel is done you know it's just i'm gonna let this sit for probably a day on the stove and then um i'm gonna add some more stuff to this but yeah you're just gonna let this sit and um in 24 hours or so i'll show you guys what happened on the next day all right guys it has been 24 hours now and this sorrel is set and ready to go i can tell you the color from this sorrel the strength you don't want this to catch your white shirt you know this is going to stain anything it, it it gets its hands on but yeah very rich very flavorful you can smell all that flavor coming up out of the sorrel but I have a few ingredients left to add and then we can just set our cereal aside um, until you know Christmas day or so alright now I'm gonna go with that twist I'm gonna add a little bit of my red label wine into this cereal not much not much but that's that's probably a quarter cup of red label wine and now I'm gonna add some white rum to this cereal And the white rum is optional. If you have kids, you probably, you know, take out a little batch for them first before you do this. Now I'm adding about a half cup of rum. My sorry, you know. I love when the sorry have a rummy and ginger vibe. And yeah. So sorrel is done. And you can just bottle these. So guys. Um, you know you can just strain off your sorrel you can bottle them you can put them in a in a bucket or something and you know old time people you normally just put rice at the bottom of the the bucket or the bottle to help preserve it but with the rum in there this can go up for weeks you know um, so yeah stay tuned I want to show you how I sweeten um, a little bit out of this and you can just place it in your fridge. I'm gonna use two strainers to strain my soil. You know, I just don't want any impurities, want it as fresh and as clean as possible. So I have a small fine strainer and I have a bigger strainer. So it's gonna place your strainer up, your big strainer or a small strainer. You're gonna get some of your soil. 
and you can just pour it out like that you know that's it you want to do it somewhere where it doesn't stain up the cupboard or anything like this this is very 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 strong and you just want to pour some in a bottle so we have finished straining out our syrup here very dark rich you know you want to use a fine strainer guys to remove a lot of these you know little impurities you want a nice clean drink you know you don't want to that much grain in in your drink so use a fine strainer yeah to remove most of the impurities all right now we're going to sweeten all right let's take it guys the flavor from this soil oh my gosh the flavor guys remember flavor your soil how you like it all right all right, so I'm finished with this strain now. I'm gonna add a half cup of sugar to this and you can sweeten to taste, all right? I think I'm gonna might have to add probably a cup of sugar. All right, that's good. You just wanna sweeten it like this. Now this is a full jar. So as I said, sweeten to taste. But wow, very nice sour drink wow beautiful merry christmas to you all when it comes so guys obviously never taste my sorry drink my flavorful sorry drink i have gone ahead and poured some in a cup here so you know taste this time now wow i can taste that ginger a little bit of the pimento, you're getting that flavor out. The cinnamon is like an aroma, in, you know, that's just going up through the nostrils. And then you have the rum. I can taste all these flavors like, wow. Very flavorful sorrel drink. Try this recipe, guys. Like, subscribe, share them on.